Dahab is a remote beach town, but it has some cafes you have to visit. This video will show you both Wi-Fi speeds and the best places to eat. Then at the end, I'll show you how much it costs to eat out every meal for several weeks. Food Urge is the perfect vacation scene. Don't expect fine dining or Wi-Fi. You'll need to use 4G, but it does have a variety of themes. The beach is from your dreams and one of the few with windscreens. The Bedouin area makes for an intimate atmosphere with carpets, pillows, and palm trees. The cabana is an especially good spot as the closed space blocks out heavy breeze. Thanks to it being so secluded, you're welcome to chill here for free. Now, I can't rhyme the entire time, so for a change of pace, here's the most unique place. Coming straight out of a Bali nomad's dream, Vegan Lab is a tropical themed restaurant with Wi-Fi of 12 megabits per second download and 0.6 megabits per second upload. It is the most expensive with nothing costing less than $5, but there's a reason for that. Vegan Lab imports ingredients in order to make things the best they can be. For example, this healthy and colorful bootable will knock your taste buds out of the park. The mix of savory, salty, and even sweet make for an explosion of flavor. In the center of the bay is Cafe Paris. Walking along the street, it sticks out like a slice of paradise. Food is fancy, but still well-priced. It's good for eating and for working from too. Cafe Paris is the most amount of outlets and every seat is comfortable. From Wi-Fi, you'll find a steady 15 megabits down and 0.6 megabits up. If Wi-Fi is what you're most concerned about, check out the description below for a map to show you all of the Hobbs Wi-Fi speeds. For the best food, check out Tim's Munch. You'll want to make a reservation any season outside of winter. If you show up when no one's around, you'll find speeds of 9 megabits down and 0.5 megabits up. Food is reasonably priced, and the care Tim puts into everything makes it a great value. The eggs are cooked to perfection in a flavored butter, the hash browns are crunchy yet supple, and the fresh juice to wash it down is all you could ever ask for. This little oasis is the place you'll talk about back home. The number one cafe, setting, Wi-Fi, and food is El Dorado. Split between a gorgeous beach and a cave-themed restaurant, it has the perfect vibe. The food is to die for, but what really sets it apart is its workability. It has the best Wi-Fi with speeds of 37 megabits down and nearly 5 megabits up. Outlets are sparse, but in places you'll want to sit. Cushions make up the seating, meaning it's customizable to fit your needs. The place is so relaxed a number of cats have become regulars, which makes sense as the music and staff are very chill. With its beauty, laid-back atmosphere, and attention to detail, El Dorado is the must-visit cafe. Now for that total. Over a month, I spent $323 eating out like you've seen multiple times a day, every day. Check out this video for a full cost of living breakdown to learn how much it would cost you to stay in the hub.